What's going on my friends? DJ Lowstax here. Welcome back or to the channel. Welcome to another gig vlog. I know you guys haven't seen me in a while. I apologize. It's been like 30 days since I posted a vlog, but we're doing one today. Today we are, we are at Clearwater Place in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Hanging out tonight with Andrew and Kyler. We're doing ceremony, reception, photo booth, uh, and uplighting. So let me flip the camera around. I'll show you guys the setup today. And uh, I also got Dre here tonight. He's helping me out. He's uh, actually vlogging me vlogging, I guess is what you'd call it. So, Dre's helping me out tonight. He's probably gonna get out and play for a while. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, check out the gear. All right, so the setup's pretty much the same. You guys are probably used to this. It's a little bright, like, darkened it up for you. Except, check these bad boys out. What are those? What are those? So, Evox 12s. I'll explain those here in a second, but nothing new back here. Same setup, still running the Touch Mix. Loving this thing, it's so nice. So we've also got 24 of the fake labs, up labs, uh, up lights around the room. So we got 24 of those around. There's a couple out here, but they're all over the place spread around here and then back over here after ceremony the photo booth is going to go over here and the ceremony sites right here so here's the arbor for ceremony I'm set up back over here nothing new back here still rocking the podium loving this thing so far got the two mics Laptop, RCF stand, JBL Eon 1 Mark II. The Mark II, if you guys tried the Mark I and didn't like it, the Mark II is 100,000 times better, I promise you. All right, so let's talk about these Evox 12s. So I actually, so myself and 24 other DJs around the country special ordered these through Justin Schwartz with the DJ's Guru. We put our order in over a year ago, or right around a year ago, roughly. And uh, because of supply chain issues and all that stuff with RCF, these are a custom speaker, so they don't normally make these in white, so they had to do a custom run. And uh, you couldn't even get the regular black Ebox 12s for a while. So it took them forever to get them made. We finally got them, they finally shipped, they're finally here. So I've got these now, and then I also have the J8. So the plan is to use the Touch Mix to run satellite speakers through the IAM system, and I can run four speakers if I want. So uh, this venue is not quite big enough. It's only like 150 people tonight, but if I had like a 200 plus person wedding, I'd be able to run four speakers and it'd be super clutch. Uh, all right guys, we're gonna finish getting changed and all that type of stuff. Run around, probably shoot some B-roll for you and uh, get this party started. Let's go. Hunter! 
Nine. Less than nine. Less than ten. Less than twelve. If you've been married less than fifteen. favorite part of these videos, JK, the recap. So, I haven't filmed a gig log in like a month, actually. So, I apologize for that. Part of that reason, though, is I did a lot of weddings uh, back to back. So I did like 18 weddings in nine weeks. Um, got kind of burnt out, not gonna lie. Ended up getting sick, had some family stuff going on, things like that. Um, feeling better, back at it. Been bringing Dre with me for the last few weddings, so he's uh, one of the other Lux DJs. He was done for the year, so he had no more events. He's like, hey man, I'll come chill with you. So I've been bringing him with me, teaching him how to use a camera, that type of stuff, so that's been a lot of fun having uh, uh, 
I don't want to call him an assistant because he's more than that, but having you know a partner to come with me and you know help me out. But let's talk about those Evox 12s. Wow. So um, huge upgrade from the J8s, like massive, massive. Um, way louder, way cleaner. I had so much headroom. I was playing them at about, I don't know, two thirds of the way uh, volume. And I had my mics up all the way, like I would normally have them on the touch mix. And you could just talk over the top of the music and it just, lots of headroom, sounded great, super clean, super crisp. The bass uh, in those birch cabinets, the best way to describe it is it's less like gongy. Like, you know how it's like the plastic cabinets kind of make that like bong, bong, bong kind of noise? This is just deep, hard bass out of those nice birch cabinets. Only complaint is since they are perfectly square, people try even harder to set their drinks on it. I mean, they try to set their drinks on the J8s, which I thought was ridiculous because they're curved and whatever. And yeah, but they're t it was just, we were constantly fighting people. I mean, this is the, only the second event that I've brought them out to. And we were constantly fighting people trying to keep drinks off the speakers, which just blows my mind that people uh, can't respect stuff. But the event itself, great event primarily a younger crowd. I got to play a lot of EDM and house and that type of stuff because that's kind of what they're into, so they went off good to that. Went on a nice little uh, kind of, you know, punk rock, um, emo rock kind of stuff. I wouldn't say, what do they say, punk, but, um, you know, Mr. Brightside, all the small things, sure we're going down swinging, all that, you know, a couple of those songs. That went over really well. You know, some of the, the, the ratchet rap music, you know, some Tyga, Nikki, all that stuff. I uh, did do a pretty sweet transition um, from Freaky Girls into Genuine Pony. That was that was pretty dope. Uh, I don't think we were filming for that, but uh, that, that was a pretty sweet transition. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, we got three weddings left for this year. I'm bringing Dre with me to all three, so we should be able to do gig logs. And uh, yeah, I'll be at the DJ Collective. If you had, any of you guys are going to that, hit me up in the comments if you're going to the Collective. Um, we can meet up, whatever, uh, but I'll be there, let's see, it's November 13th to the 17th, so I'll be there for that. Um, then I come back, and my wedding, my personal wedding, is November 26th, so that's coming up real quick, too. That's my official last wedding of the year, is my own wedding. Uh, flying up DJ Nate Nelson, if you don't know him, uh, he's one of the LaForce guys, flying him up to DJ my wedding, so should be a good time. But all right, guys, as always, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing, click that like button, and click that notification bell so you can get notifications of my upcoming videos, and leave me some comments down below. I need some love. Peace.